Correspondence at KerbinMayo.com. What else have we got that's out and buzzing? Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Um, sequel to the likeable sort of superhero adventure, Shazam. As I said this before, now I'm so far out of my depth when it comes to this. Shazam! Originally Captain Marvel in the DC Comics. Billy Batson, played by Asher Angel as a kid, and Zachary Levy in the Shazam! incarnation. Basically, misfit, orphan teen acquires adult superhero powers after visiting a wizard's lair. This is in the original. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of fun in which, because suddenly he's a grown man and he, they're wondering what their superpowers are. Can I fly? Oh, I can fly. Oh, like, I wonder if I can do, oh, I can do that as well. And all that was kind of quite larky. So it was like a sort of comic riff on, on Chronicle or Deadpool without any of the R-rated stuff. So in the sequel, he's back with the fellow Philadelphia foster kids to whom he gifted special powers before they sneak out together to fight crime together because it's not about superpowers it's about family and of course there is why do you say family like that well because that's the you know fast and the furious which that was oh, okay. where they guess everything's about family and they do acknowledge that gag not least in the fact that the film's got helen mirren who's in the fast and the furious franchise and here plays one of the daughters of atlas keep up returning to earth to steal the staff that will restore their powers. Cast also includes Lucy Liu, uh, Rachel Zegler is a new girl at school who befriends best friend Freddie, but doesn't, but is isn't quite who she seems to be. Um, here's the trailer. Uh, this kind of gives you a, a, a tone of a sort of sense of the tone of it. Right. I'm an idiot. It's showtime. I don't deserve these powers. If I'm being honest, like, what am I even contributing? Ow. There's already a superhero with a red suit with a lightning bolt on it. Aquaman is literally huge and he's so manly. And Batman is so cool. And I'm just me. Uh. So most of the of the appeal is Zachary Levy doing exactly that, you know, that he's a he's a kid in superhero form and he makes mistakes and he bumbles around and he gets things wrong, and they're all but it's also that kind of nice thing that it's the Goonies thing that they're the misfits who rise up and you know are actually all together and they've all got each other's backs and they've got rivalries and everything. But it is to do with family. There's an awful lot more CG, uh, huge monsters, uh, dragons, uh, you know, stuff than than there needs to be. And there's a good. I'm going to go and see this again weirdly enough on Sunday because I'm going to go and see it at the IMAX because there's a. There's a student group that are going to the IMAX from Exit. So I'm going to go and see it again. And as I was watching, I was thinking, well, it'd be interesting to see this 40 minutes on IMAX because there is 40 minutes of just CG stuff. I mean, it, I don't think it's as much fun as the as the first one, but it's kind of more fun than, you know, some of the other superhero movies. It's completely flimsy. It's, it, it's By the time I see it on Sunday, I will have forgotten all of it already. I mean, I, I need to look this up. Maybe I should have done that before we started this. <laughs> but Shazam was an animation. When I was growing up, Shazam mm -hmm. was a cartoon, and there were two halves of a ring, and one ring said Sha, and the other, and the other one said Zam. Zam. And then when the two halves of the ring came together, this Shazam, Shazam, and the genie appeared and did great things. So that's not the same thing. That isn't anything it's to do with this. Not the same this. thing. But the idea of a of a Shazam type of thing thing obviously has been around for a long time yes and uh, as again i will defer to my my great friend van connor who explained this to me so as we were going into the first shazam movie he said you do know the captain marvel connection and i went van that is a rhetorical question you know that i don't know the explain it to me he said well there was this and then it was this character and then there's this thing and then there's i mean there's a lot of in jokes yes. about it there's there's a character there's a character um of a pediatrician called dario barva and I don't know whether that's a cine literate joke about Dario Argento and Mario Bava or whether Dario Bava is a comic, because I'm not immersed in that world. But there's a lot of nodding and winking to the other franchises and the other way, you know, which you, you, you might. There'll be, a, there'll be a similar point in, in this particular take, or maybe in take two, when you say to me, you know that uh, Egyptian surrealist uh, <laughs> director of photography from the 60s? And I'll go, Mark, you know the answer. <laughs> you know there. the answer to that it's question, no. which is no. Anyway. So but I love something. the idea of an Egyptian surrealist cinematographer. If there was one. If there was one. Correspondence at KermanMayor.com. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.